Hi, elementary. This is your read aloud for Unicorns Are the Worst by Alex Willen, who also wrote Yetis Are the Worst and Dragons Are the Worst and a few other funny books. For hundreds of years, I have gone about completing my important goblin business in peace, from documenting spells to gathering ingredients for spells to alphabetizing the ingredients I've gathered for spells. No distractions, no interruptions, just me and my work. But guess who decided to move in to the meadow next door? Unicorns! Now, I know what you're going to say. Unicorns are the best! Unicorns are magical, blah, blah, blah. That's true, but a lot of other things are magical, like elves and fairies, and what's the other one? Elves, fairies, and... Oh, right. Goblins. I have studied the forgotten magic that lies deep within the earth. I know spells that can transform socks into slugs. I can turn broccoli into ice cream. Still tastes like broccoli. And I have mastered the three-strand braid. But despite all of this, does anyone ever ask to have a goblin-themed birthday party? Meanwhile, all unicorns do is frolic around all day on their dainty unicorn hooves. Frolicking isn't even hard. Goblins can frolic. We just choose not to. Horse plus pointy equals unicorn. A unicorn's stare feels like they are hugging you with their eyes. I don't get it. They are just horses with pointy heads. I have pointy ears, but you don't hear me carrying on about it. And the glitter. So much glitter. Do you realize how hard it is to get glitter out of a smock? They are constantly playing their instruments. Newsflash unicorns, not everyone likes harp music. And so many tea parties. So many tea parties. It's not like they ever ask me to one of their tea parties. Not that I would even have time for tea parties when there is all this important work to be done. It's not like this shrub is going to document itself. Do I enjoy a good cup of tea? Perhaps the occasional crumpet? We'll never know because someone around here has to take their work seriously. You know what? I wouldn't go to one of their silly tea parties even if they did ask me. You know why? Because unicorns are the worst! I would rather be neighbors with gnomes. Or this dragon. Or a chicken. Or a, or a, wait a minute. Dragon, run for your lives. Save yourselves, my little sock slugs. Nope. Well, I guess unicorns do have some good traits. For instance, did you know that their glitter can put out dragon fire? and that harp music can be quite disorienting. Those dainty hooves pack quite a wallop. And, as it turns out, a unicorn's horn is more than just pointy. All right, fine. As far as neighbors go, unicorns aren't that bad. But I think that we can all agree, dragons are the worst. The end.